uh, in today's lecture we are going to discuss about different types of plant resources in the last lecture uh, we have started with the applications of botany and in that we have discussed about the uh, relationship of industrial botany or industries and the plant sciences and also we have discussed about the uh, two important resources which we are getting from the plant that is food and fodder now in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the next important plant resources and in that the important resources which are providing raw material to the industries and in that the fiber medicine timber dyes gum and tannins are the important one if we think about this particular slide these are the important things for the benefit of human being or essential for the human being we need food we need fodder for our animal and the rest that is fiber if we uh, we wear, wear clothes different types of clothes different colors of clothes and uh, we are getting these clothes from uh, plant resources that is we are getting fiber we are getting medicines from the plant we are getting timber that is furniture required for our household from the plant we rec uh, we get dyes from the plant we get gum from the plant and we get tannins from the plant so all these resources are essential for the life or for the um, better life of human being and we are getting all these resources from the plants so one by one we are looking after all these resources the first one that is fiber uh, we are getting fiber from the plant uh, there are synthetic fibers also but if we are using synthetic fiber the processing and all these things require more uh, uh, involved more in economics and so that uh, we can shift towards the natural fiber that is plant based fiber so plant based fibers uh, includes the hair like raw material directly obtained obtained either from plants vegetables or any uh, animal and these are converted into own uh, own cloths so we are getting the cotton as an important resource uh, from the plant species and cotton is the basics uh we can say it is the basic need of human being because uh, the world is of um, decoration and for that we need uh, cotton of good quality and we are making different types of clothes by using the cloth uh, using the cotton and this is the basic raw material which we are getting from the plants so the fibers are either natural fibers or bast fibers so bast fibers include the fiber extracted from skin of plant species or phloem fiber so which is uh, which we are extracting from the phloem of the plants so these fibers bast fiber as well as natural fibers are produced from the plant species uh, these bast fibers which we are using from the phloem or skin uh, or we can say bark of the plant these are comparatively strong and used in making ropes and twins as well as they are used in heavy duty industrial fabrics so jute is also one of the important fiber we are extracting from the plant species so i am going to uh, display some of the important plant species which are produces the fibers in that the linum is one species then cannabis sativa is the another species then conkerus to which we called as jute commonly so there are two species of corcorus that is corcorus olitoris and uh, corcorus capsularis as well as we are using the uh, bast fiber from hibiscus as well as we are using the species of crotolaria crotolaria jansia it is for the source of bast fiber also there are some species from uh, from the leaves of the species we can extract the fiber in that the common species is agave Agave sicilian is there, then Musa textilis is there, then Agave american is there. We are using the leaf fiber of this species as a source. Then there is there are one uh, some more species that is Bombax seba, then Saccharum officinarum, Calotropis procera and Calotropis gigantea. Saccharum officinarum that is sugar cane commonly we use the bagasse of this sugar cane as a source of fiber. then calotropis procera the commonly called species rui uh, which is also source of fiber 
including these the importants are coccus nucifera that is coir to which we uh, use to make the uh, jute or we can use the coccus nucifera also and the gossypium species that is cotton species which is the important source of fiber then there are some species which are the sources of medicine so uh, medicine which we are using uh, from ancient times and most of the plant species uh, if we think about the plant species the all the species have some important properties and in that the medicinal properties from the plants and this medicine includes uh, the plant species have the source of different types of medicines in that the plants are blood purifiers the plants are useful to increase the immunity the plant have antibiotic properties the plants are also regulates the growth of germs they destroy the infection they are useful as a tonic uh, they neutralize the acid produced in stomach so serves as antacids the plants are source of cough syrup the plants are source of source of cardiac stimulants and plants have also the disinfectant properties so the plant species which we can commonly use as a source of medicine in that the aloe vera commonly used as a hair tonic then the species like adathoda vesica which is used as a in preparation of cough syrup then asparagus racemosus is one more important species and the agave americana is one more species uh, source of medicine then osimum sanctum is also important species uh, which is used in uh, various preparation then papyrus somniferum that is afu then glycera as a grabra that is jastamat and curcuma longa haldi so these are some of the species which have medicinal properties including this the species like tinospora cardifolia then vidania somnifera uh, that means ashwagandha and ravalpia serpentina that is sarpagandha so these are some of the species which have medicinal importance so uh, in medicinal properties if we consider about the medicinal properties from plants so plants are important sources which produces different types of medicines so i have enlisted some of the species which have medicinal properties then the next one sources of timber so we are getting the timber from plants so as the timber which is extracted from plant has more strength it has workability that means we can design anything on the uh, wood extracted from plants and the plants are available in more number that is abundance so these are important basic abilities of the plant so that is why we are, we have used the plants as a source of timber then most importantly the plants are renewable sources so we can renew the plant species the plants are biodegradable biodegradable in nature so when we are using the plant species and after use if the things are not useful we can recycle them again so they are biodegradable and the plants are important source as it has potential of construction material so as a timber we can use the species like citrus devdara then uh, that means devdar then dalbergia siso that is siso and commonly used as plant species as a timber that is tectona grandis that is sag then we have some species like shoria robusta then sweetonia mahogany and also the casuarina equisetifolia which is commonly used in konkan as a source of timber then some species like mimosops ilengi then the species like acacia nilotica so if we think about the plant as a source of timber the common species which we are using is tectona grandis and acacia nilotica commonly used species as a timber then the most important thing that is dyes that is color which is added in our lives so the colors we can add also with the help of plants so these are uh, in in the image we can see the different types of 
colors extracted from the plant species so for color source we can use uh, so different colors can be extracted from plants like orange brown pink blue red brown gray black green and yellow so these different colors can be extracted using the different species uh, i have listed the names of species which we can use uh, as a source of dyes so including these the most important species which are the source of dyes that is betula alba i have uh, given the image of color extracted from this plant then hibiscus rosa sinensis then indigo for a species je neel ji apan kadto ti indigo for a fair species then helianthus anus that is sunflower cladodendron inermi uh, hina or in marathi we can call it as mehndi we are extracting from plants bigza orilina is one more species uh, from which we can extract the uh, in marathi we can call it as shendur or the plant is also named as shendri bigza orilina from which we can extract this color then curcuma longa that is haldi we commonly called in marathi halad so we can uh, uh, isolate or extract yellow color from curcuma, curcuma longa then corcus robur is one more species so these are some of the species which are resources for uh, dyes then gum it is one, one more important constituent of our lives so uh, natural gum uh, the chemical composition of gum is polysaccharide that is carbohydrate and this is available in plant species the gum has adhesive property and this can be extracted from bark of the tree and this bark uh, gum is used for several applications like adhesive that means it is it has sticking property then crystallization inhibitor then emulsifying agent the foam we can generate from different uh, resources or different uh, processes so emulsifying gums are used as emulsifying agent then they are stabilizer then encapsulating agent so capsule which uh, we find in medicals uh, the capsules and the capsule uh, coating of that capsule is made with the help of gum that is polysaccharide then film formers foam stabilizer suspending agent suspension stabilizer so gum is used in uh, different ways by the human being and the sources for gum are cymopsis tetragonolobus uh, gavar gavar is the source of uh, gum then acacia nilotica that is babul then acacia catechu that is khair in marathi sterculia urens then butia monosperma to which we called in marathi as palas then baumia retusa then as a director indica, indica so these are some of the sources of gum then sources of tannins tannin uh, scientifically the tannins are called as polyphenols and they are now naturally occurring in skins seeds and stem the common example of tannins is the tea powder so when we add uh, uh, tea powder in water and if we boil it we can get a color and that color is because of the tannins which are present in tea powder tea powder so these tannins have different color they have different texture and also the durability and so that the tannins are used in leather industries so the tannins have several applications the tannins are used in leather industries to process that leather the tannins are used mm. they are used in photography they are used in dyeing dyeing they are used in clarifying wine and beer and also the tannins are used in medicinal so based on that there are different industries uh, based on the sources of tannins so the industries such as leather industry feed industry fisheries industry and beverage industry they are using the different plant species for extracting the tannins and these tannins are used for different purpose the tannins are also medicinal 
So the species which we use as a source of tannin that includes the Acacia auriculata, then Acacia nilotica, Acacia catechu, Rhizophora species. This is one more uh, one of the important mangrove species. So mangroves are the plants which are uh, uh, are found in Isshuran region. Manje jala apun khadi mantu. Ta khadi the nare vegra prakarche plant species asta. जर आप इतने प्लांट स्ट्रक्चर बगित मॉर्फोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर जर बगित तो रूट सिस्टीम एक्सटेन्डेड दिस्ते सो दीज एक्सटेन्डेड रूट सिस्टीम इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द मैनग्रूज एंड द मैनग्रूज दैट इज राइजोफोर स्पेसिज इज इम्पॉर्टंट सोर्स ऑफ टैनिन द स्पेसिज लाइक इम्लिका ऑफिसिनेलिस द स्पेसिज लाइक टर्मिनल है चेब्यूला दैन कैसिया फिस्टोला सो these are some of the species uh, which are important sources from which we can extract the tannins so um, these are important plant species i have just tried to uh, visualize you the important plant species and the important resources from which the uh, we can extract the resources so the plant species which uh, can be used for different purpose and this is some of the important species this is the list of some of the species which can be used as a resource for particular purpose including these there are some of the important species there are many of the species which are not mentioned over here but have different properties so in plant resources we can think about the plant natural resources and uh, you can skip the use of Uh, synthetic resources and then by, thereby we are going to give the importance to the plants as well as we can uh, try to reduce the pollution in uh, environment so these plant species as they are natural as the plant species are biodegradable as the plant species are renewable instead of using chemical substances in, instead of using unnatural substances we can go for use of plant species and these plant species can become an important source for uh, our daily daily needs or daily life